Okay, for 25 today, we're gonna go to. Move that away. We're gonna go to the Mirage Tower. We're not gonna exit right now. What am I doing? Um, we need to go to the Mirage. We're gonna try to go to Mirage Tower today. I think you can. That appears before the National Pokedex and stuff. Um, we're definitely gonna pull out Belladonna. Who else? Um, we got we got Tank Boss Goddess for that. Um. There's, there's gonna be a ton of crap before we get to, uh, to, um, to the flying gym after the normal gym. So we're not, I'm not, I'm gonna try to keep that, uh, out of my mind. We also have ice, we have lightning, we have a bunch of good stuff for that. Does this guy fight you? No, he does not. Okay, um. Isn't there something in this other house? Or is it like a. I always kept thinking that there was like two happiness raiders in Hoenn, but I don't think there actually is. I guess that means they were holding a lax No. Yes, a lax incense. Mimic? No, I don't want to wear Mimic. Even though Mimic is pretty cool. Um, hopefully by the time this airs, uh, our good buddy Maycar, the Maycar locomotive, has found the character who should be known as Cooper in his Final Fantasy VI stumble through, stumble through game. Not a let's play. It's the stumble through, or just a stumble. Um, oh, there it is. There's Mirage Tower. So why is this notable? Because if you check here, it says Mirage Tower. Therefore, while the desert itself doesn't count as a different area, because it still says Route 111, although some people, some people play it. As if it is a different area, which I totally like, like understand. Um, but you know, the usual rule that I go by is what does it say on the med it, you know, little whatever, wherever. So you know, as long as you have a those being distinct. And so technically, we caught Electabuzz on the route the desert's on, which is actually rather ironic. Um, I think normally there's like Sandshrew and Trap Inch in here, which makes it pretty decent for something. But uh. So I'm trying to think what EVs we would do. Are you serious? No. Okay, we're definitely going to be walking around in here and seeing if the randomizer even affected this. Because come on! There's only two pokes that appear here! <sighs> Alright, let's go ahead and get a wrap on this thing. Well, that didn't crit. Um, po poison is not very effective to ground, so we can definitely afford to do an acid. At least we should be able to. Um, and another another ground type, go figure, right? Oh yeah, we can acid this thing a few more times. Um, not too concerned with uh, putting it to sleep for the moment. Acid yeah, so this thing a couple more times. I don't want to ass it again, drop its defense, and then I can't do pull off a good wrap on it. So, or wait a minute, this wrap hadn't expired yet. And that, wow, another critical hit wrap. Um, I, I'm hoping that refreshes the thing. And sand attack is gonna annoy me with seek powder missing. Um, although we may end up having to switch out momentarily anyway. I think poison sting does an effect. Uh, Belladonna being poisoned. Okay, we should be able to should be able to live another thing. Although now I'm probably gonna have to switch Belladonna out and then right back in. So unless it frees from wrap this turn. Uh, yeah, I, I, it's probably got enough HP left to live it, but I'm not gonna take that chance. So Boss Goddess doesn't care if it doesn't attack. Switching back to Belladonna. We'll probably have to put it to sleep immediately again. Um, let's see. Oh, I guess we can name this after uh, Maria's um, Maria's Sandshrew from her Crystal Nuzlocke, which I think ended up dying in her battle against Red. Um, which, oh, by the way, she asked me to mention to people. Um, those of you at TPX know there's like there's a situation going on 
Um, so Maria and other other persons uh, have just taken to using her zat, which is zat.com slash goddess kingdom. Um, whenever TPX gets too too crazy on the sports and running into the ground and stuff, but uh, anyway, she she, she uh, asked me to plug that, so I guess we'll plug that. Um, oh, we can put links in the description because uh, we're gonna name the Sanshu after hers. Um, Sanshu, the mouse Pokemon. This is actually a native Hoenn dude, um, and possibly my favorite ground type actually. Um, definitely my favorite ground type, um, at least pure ground type anyway, uh, from Gen One. Not that there were. A Kind of pure ground types in Gen 1. Um, but anyway, uh, when it curls up into a ball, or in a ball, it can make any attack bounce off harmlessly. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Um, I guess that's what happens when it uses Protect. Its hide has turned tough and solid as a result of living in the desert, which it didn't actually do until Ruby and Sapphire. So, uh, we're going to name it Jiruno. Jiruno. And there we go. And that's... Really all oh actually we're gonna walk around in here for a little bit and see if it's just those two. Um okay, Sancho again. Um we should have someone who can kill Sancho's leading off. So we're gonna see if there's Sancho or Trap Inch and let's see if that's all all it is. And we should be able to kill those things off. Now I know that the upper levels of this tower you need the mock bike and stuff. Kind of trap inch. So, um, based on there being trap inch and sand shrew, um, can we run? Okay. Um, it looks like, looks like Artemis forgot to do the thing to hit the Mirage Tower. <laughs> I guess there was some sort of flub in the programming. Um, so you can come here to get a guaranteed ground type. Guaranteed ground type. I actually probably would have preferred trap inch because I love Flygon. Um, but anyway, whatever, Sanctuary's cool. We'll, we'll definitely take it. Um, and I really don't want to go back in the desert now. Um, so that's, that's a thing of note. Um, this, that's a kind of an exploit there you can do. Um, do we have Rock Smash? Yeah, we have because we brought, we brought Rengeki, that's right. Um, so we, we, you know, we're probably strong enough to do the win straights now. Yeah, but we need to, uh, we can probably do the win straights now. I guess we can do that in this video as well. So, uh, back to the village we were in for way too many videos. Oh, Maker asked me to talk to this dude. I'm pretty sure he sucks. We're gonna save and, uh, talk to the dude. And if he's one of the dudes who, uh, you can only, like, kind of talk to once, I'm all reset. So, don't hold that against me. The hipster. Have you heard about Wannabe? Ask your daddy or mommy. Um, say the same thing again. So we're gonna resend that so we can remember what his what his word is. Mm, by far the best one is the storyteller, by the way. So don't we're not gonna count that as like a oh no 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 resetting in Nuzlocke's thing. That doesn't count. That was just a thing thing to appease a viewer. So we're not gonna yell. Um, so we're gonna put Michiru in the party over, we don't need Belladonna, or do we? Actually, we might want Belladonna for this. Um, we'll put Muddy Buddy out for the time being. Um, we'll also put Dasher out because we actually need some fighting fit dudes. Uh, let's check on Jiruno, see what he's got. Uh, Timid Nature. Mm, that is minus attack. Uh, yeah, we're not going to use them. They're definitely second tier ground type behind Muddy Buddy. Sorry, Sorry Jiruno. Which I, you guys can check the description for. For Moria's Zat of no sports and stuff. Um, so we'll put Muddy Buddy back. No, let's put a. We haven't actually had used Avionis in a long freaking time. Um, like, <laughs> people are finally actually Avionis' level. So we're gonna take Avionis back. Um, we still, we have the chicken in the walls. If, uh, Avionis should fall for another, uh, for a backup flyer. Um, so yeah, right now I would consider this to probably be, uh, our, um, our str oh, we need to heal. Oh, we're down a little bit, don't we? Um, I could probably consider this to be our strongest team. Um, let's see, we may also want to get to Slateport City this video. And maybe restock on potion or not potion soda pops. 
Not that we really need more, but I'd rather have more than we need than not enough, so... Alright, so we'll take on the win straights, I guess. Um, I don't think they're... I say they're in like mi maybe the mid tw mid low twenties. I'm not sure. Um, we'll start with Crush Draw just because he's our uh, most reliable guy. Can take on most anything with his blubber. And first is Win Straight Victor, who has starts with a ten okay level sixteen. Yeah, we got this. <laughs> we have a level thirty dude. I don't think this is gonna be a problem. Um, but yeah, taking on four in a row without being able to ooh, heal, 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 heal um, can be tough if you get it over your head. I'm sure uh, more than one person has lost a dude in a Nuzlocke here, so just keep Aurora beaming. Speaking of uh, Aurora... Son of a female, I am aggro on the mic today. I'm abusing the mic. Holy snot. Um, why should we not edit that out, too? Um, speaking of Aurora, Pokemon Conquest came out um, a while back. Uh, last last Monday or so. I picked it up last Tuesday. Um, and have not started it as of time of this filming, but probably will by the time this goes public. So... Um, I still haven't decided what I'm going to name my character, or if I'm going to be male or female. Um, we're going to go to... No one, we're going to stay in... No. We're going to go to Belladonna. I don't like Leech Seed. If a poke has Leech Seed, Belladonna has to fight it. That's the rule. Belladonna has to fight it if it's got Leech Seed. Because it's, it's going to have a neutral attack against it, and, yeah. Acid. I think Rose... Okay, yeah, Acid's going to one-shot it. Pretty sure Aurora Beam would have one-shot it, too. Mmm. Mmm, tasty pizza. So this is the daughter. What is this? Vivi? Straight Vivi. Meryl versus Crush Draw. This feels like a good opportunity to use our old friend Raigeki. Ooh, rollout. That could be dangerous. If not for, uh. Ho ho! If not for static. Little, little. Um, you know, I want to say Electabuzz is one of the Pokemon who kind of had his cry fixed in 3rd gen. There's some Pokemon from 1st gen that if you listen to, like, the end of their cry, there's some sort of little anomaly at the end. I think Articuno has the same thing. Articuno's cry is like, But then at the very end it does, So it comes off like, And it's just awkward. And I want to say Electabuzz had the same thing. His was like, da -da 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 -da. it was kind of weird, kind of annoying. Uh, take down is not even bad. We don't like recoil moves and those locks. I'm sorry. Oh crap! Oh no no no! It doesn't have Rockhead. It does. It has Sturdy. I'm pretty sure. If it had Rockhead, then I probably would have learned it. Um, here's a Shroomish, which we're gonna actually gonna T punch. Let's see if it kills it. Nope, not Shroomish. Not Thunder Punch. Oh, are you serious? Effect Spore sleeps. <sighs> Although, hilariously, it tried Stun Spore. Um, whatever. We'll go to Belladonna anyway, then. <laughs> One day, I want to bring an Effect Spore Breloom onto Wi-Fi and, like, sleep their entire team off Effect Spore, which doesn't break Sleep Claws. Does not break Sleep Claws. Effect Spore. Use it more. No, 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 I don't want to see any of this technician garbage either. Nope, nope, none of that. Mm -mm. None of that. Um, let's go to. So we kind of only can go to Crush Draw for this. And mm, the grandma I know has a Metatite. 
which we have Avionis for. Okay, good. Well, Avionis and um, and Belladonna, both uh, decent versus versus fighting. Oh no! It is I who will smack you. It's I who will smack you and your level 18 meta type. Um, Crusher leads off. I don't want Crusher to lead off. Um, we're going to go to Avionis because we haven't used Avionis in a while. So, okay, it attacked, but it failed. Uh, let's just go for no, not quick attack. Misclick. Dang it. Meditate. Um, that would probably actually two at KO. But I guess that means Gus would have won at KO. So it's gonna detect and waste some time. But it will be irrelevant. So yeah, we probably could have taken these things out, these guys out, um, the first time through with Avionis being able to... Because I don't think we've used Avionis since we got got to Mauville. So that just shows you how overleveled Avionis was at the time. And I think you get the Macho Brace from the Mother. Right here. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we might use Macho Brace for a grind session if we like get a new guy. Because uh, the guys we already have, or that we've been using for a while, probably will max out their EVs. But uh, if we end up getting like a sweet new guy, we might throw Macho Brace on it for a grind session. In order to um, help it catch up in the EV department. You know, if, wh whatever EVs. Um, I usually don't try to do EVs too much during story mode. Sometimes I do, like, um, I know there was one time where I, um, grinded against Paris in the bottom, like, one of the bottom floors of Mount Moon for some extra attack one time, but usually I don't bother with it, so. Um, so let's go here. Um, I also, I know we can get a T-Bolt TM later from Watson, um, if we do the side quest over in, over there, in, the uh, New Mauville. No, we just we didn't fight this guy. Mm -hmm. I didn't bring Muddy Buddy either. Try to lead Anthony. Of course, he has a Magnemite. Of course, he does. Um, we're going to do what exactly to him? Um, what level is that thing? Fourteen. Okay, okay. Yeah, Boss Goddess should be should be a okay. I know last time we did this and got Boss Goddess trapped in there with Magnet Pull, it was like bad news. But freaking supersonic. Um, but it's it's 11 levels higher. Shouldn't have a problem this time. We're gonna use the yellow flute because that's what we got it for. Tackle for one damage. And mud slap for m much damage. Yeah, one shot. Boom. Get out. This is the boss goddess right here. Who is? Uh, I guess this is good because. Uh, well, we're getting, what is that, special attack EVs, which is, lar which is largely irrelevant on Agron unless it's being trained by Steven Stone. Because Steven likes to give his Agron moves like Solar Beam and crap like and Thunder, stuff like that, instead of manly moves like Head Smash. Which isn't in this game, I guess, so this, I suppose that kind of excuses it. Okay, good, we already fought her. Um... Mm, I think, you know, we haven't done the trick house, but I don't really want to do the trick house. Like, I, I don't. We might, like, do them all in a video later if I feel like it, but whatever. Um, or if, like, we get a major wipeout and I need to, like, restart half the LP or something. Um, and, like, start again from, like, level 20 guys or something later on. Um, or, like, 15s or whatever. So we're going to go in here and buy... How many? Okay, let's just buy like six sort of pops, I suppose. Um, I don't know what our next major purchase will be. We could also theoretically spend our money on coins to get flamethrower and ice beam, which would be nice. But I'm pretty sure. I actually don't know where you get flamethrower. But um, I'm either having major deja vu. Or there was a previous time in this LP where we were buying soda pops and I was talking about those three TMs. Um, so I didn't. I think Maycar may have left a comment on it. So that's it's kind of weird. 
something about this room makes me want to talk about um oh, maybe it's the inner tubes thunderbolt flamethrower ice beam and the orange one which is fighting i guess maybe i don't know um next time we come through Malville city maybe i'll check and see how much the coins are all right mr briny we're going to the only option there is duford I'm gonna assume that adult toys is still uh still trendy there. Rest its soul. Or only lost so far. We are bound for Petalburg. And you, you know, I wanna say we actually missed a C route, but I'm not sure which one. Um, whatever. Um, we're sitting pretty good as far as guys go right now. Um, I might go back and and uh, analyze that if we happen to like lose some more people. So I'll I'll just save that route, um, whatever it is, for later. And I know we got vis a vis here in Petalburg, so. I don't think there's any other routes that way. Alright, so let's just go in the Pokemon Center then. Get our party set up for the... For the gym here. And what level did we get Boss Goddess to? Yeah, 25. Close enough. Um, we'll keep Crush Draw just because Crush Draw is our ace right now. Um, I don't... I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put Belladonna up and be safe with her. Um... Same for Raigeki. I could bring that thing, but I'm gonna hold off on it. Um, we're not gonna bring Michiru, I don't think. And Muddy Buddy might be okay. I don't think some people actually have like Thunderbolt in here, so maybe that would be good because two of our guys are weak to it. Um, see, I know there's a. Um. I might avoid the. I might not fight the girl with the Zangoose because I'm. I. I don't think it has a brick break, but if it does, then that's really annoying. Um, I don't think it would one shot layer on either, but I, I think that's also the critical. Uh, we're just gonna not go in the critical hit room. How about that? Or the one hit KO room is what it's called. Um. So yeah, so we're gonna put. We're gonna put uh, Boss Goddess up there. Um, she doesn't have headbutt, right? Like, she should. I thought that, uh, Laron learned headbutt, but evidently it was forgotten, so... Um... You know, Metal Claw's gonna be fine. With Stab, it's gonna be stronger than whatever Return's gonna be, anyway. Um... So, yeah. Um, I think there's a... I think the Slot King that Norman has has Counter. With that, I think that's the only fighting move on his team, and obviously that doesn't strike for a type advantage. So, um, does Fat Dude do anything? Nope. Alright, so next video, we're gonna be, uh, last video we did Lava Ridge Gym, so this video we're gonna be going into Petalburg Gym next time. See you then, or the 26th part of our Emerald Nuzlocke Roulette. Better days.